Uh, all right. I think it's working. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're good. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Welcome to the stream. Uh, my voice is already warmed up for the day because <laughs> we started camp already. So my voice is already feels good. Feels funky. Fresh. Just testing my audio. Okay. Hello, welcome in everyone. Today, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be drawing magic and fantasy characters. So that includes like witches and monsters and all that fun stuff. What else did I have in this? I don't remember. But hello, hello to everyone who's already in. Who do I see? I see Aaron. I see Adam. I see Bunny Doll. I see. I believe that's Lilior, even though their name is Give Please, but I'm not sure. <laughs> and I see Anonymous Druid. Hello, hello to everyone who is popping in. Welcome in. Um. But yeah, y'all, before we get started, you know the drill. If you didn't know, our growing community is filled with tons of art nerds, and we art nerds have to stick together, so if you're an art nerd too, be sure to check out the links to our oh, to our social media in the description below, and check out the website for our class offerings, because we're not just a YouTube channel. We are an art school too, so if you'd like to support us so we can keep making free content, consider supporting us on Patreon, where you can get access to tons of perks, like my working files, printing sessions, and a huge discount on our classes and camps that have a limited amount of spots, so be sure to check those out before they are gone. All right. Also said hello. Scribe and drawing scene. Woo woo. Hello to everyone. First time on the channel. Glad to have you here. All right, magic and fantasy. What one? It was the witch, right? Witch, wizard, warlock. I was kind of vibing with a witch. Not gonna lie. I was kind of feeling like I was like when I was writing the poll. I was like, okay, I'm kind of feeling a witch because. I haven't done anything really, really magical in a while. So I think I'm going to do that. Why is my opacity super, super low? I also really like the the witches. Oh, by the way, these streams, for those of you who have tuned in to all of our past ones, these streams are going to be ones um, during the summer. They are going to be ones where we are jumping straight into the illustration. There isn't really going to be um, a lesson. But you are also able to request any other kinds of characters that match with the theme of the day. <laughs> Which dress? Yes. Um, so if you have any other kind of fantasy characters that you would like to see me draw. Like kind of fantasy themed characters that you'd like to see me illustrate. That could be monsters, that could be knights, that could be warriors, that could be, you know, creatures as well. See if you have anything that you would like to request for me to draw. I will absolutely do that for you. Yeah, I'm a really big fan of like the... Kind of like hunched over look. Plague Doctor? I can definitely do that. I love Plague Doctors. I'm a really big fan of those. SCP, uh... Oh no. Is it 059 or 009? Something like that? I have to side with Adam here. Yeah, no, they're sick. So I can absolutely do that for you. And if anyone else has any other kinds of requests, I can definitely do that. Yeah, I love the kind of, like, not 100% traditional witch, but, like, the kind of, like, witch doctor kind of look. That's a little bit funkier. My man, 049. Okay, 049. I was close. 059. I want to kind of go with the skull up here. 048. I don't remember 048. With a cow skull. Kind of the top half of like a boulder. Magic book reader. Hi, hello. Um, magic book reader. So like a spell caster? I can deafs do that. Because then I have to illustrate a, a book. <laughs> kind of vibing with this kind of hooded figure. Coven pa Pagan Magic. Ah, with the kind of like witchy kind of culty theme. Yeah, I can definitely do that. Okay, so it's Plague Doctor first, and then like a magic book kind of... Oh, I guess you're kind of combining that, Bunny Doll. More of like the pagan kind of feel. Just <laughs> you a witch doctor, yeah. 
I suck at drawing. It's all about getting better. You practice. Practice makes perfect. It's taken me years to get to where I am, you know? It doesn't happen overnight. As long as you're enthusiastic about it, you'll get better with time. I use Photoshop and Medibang. So do I. I stick with, um, I usually prefer Photoshop CC. cap that's like um you're you're lying um but yeah i usually stick with photoshop um medibang is usually my set and like not my second choice clip studio is my second choice but i use medibang for the stream because it's a very nice and accessible program that everybody can use you actually answered things of course i answer i try to answer to like everything usually <laughs> I'm kind of like, because, you know, the traditional, like, green-hatted witch is just not as creepy anymore, you know? You gotta get something, like, fun. I'm glad that all the magic and fantasy things that have been requested so far are all very creepy. I think that's great. <laughs> so you can see more of my, like, less cute work. Because, like, most of the work that I do for the channel is very cute. <laughs> you use Procreate. I've got a few students who use Procreate. Hi, hello. Yes, thanks to everyone who is making it in. Magic and fantasy, feel free to request anything. I've got a few requests so far. I'm going to try to get to lines for everything at the, at the minimum. I'll see how long things take me, though, because I may be able to get to coloring as well, depending on how intense everything gets. Do you use a tablet? Yes, I do. I use a Cintiq 13 HD. How long does the stream go for? For a couple hours. So we're starting at four, we'll end off at six. Poppy asks how we're all doing. I'm doing great, Poppy. How about you? You just want to plague Dr. Ramesh. I'm cool with either. Should I give her hair? I probably should. This is kind of giving me Resident Evil vibes now that I'm illustrating it. Oh well. There we go. That's my sketch. I can work with that. Kind of like a creepy witchy character. Oh, it's 11 p.m. for you. Yeah, it'll go on for um, two hours, so it'll finish at 1 a.m. for you, I suppose. <laughs> Hello, Felicia. Welcome in. Felicia is one of our lovely instructors here at the studio, one of our newest instructors. I'm glad you could join it. Yeah, fantasy art. Fantasy characters. Again, for those of you who are popping in just now, know that you can request characters. I've got a few lined up, but feel free to request them to see if I can get to them, because I can drop pretty fast, so I'll see if I can get to more than... Um, or I can get to majority of the requests. I believe after this one it's going to be a plague doctor. Oh, this is angle drawn. Except the jaw is pointing upward. No! Okay. Let's fix that then. Yeah, fantasy art is tons of fun. I am like, I love fantasy. I love kind of the creepier side of fantasy as well. Like, not just like the pretty fairies and whatnot. Fairies are terrifying, to be honest. You hear about them from folklore, especially like Irish folklore. Horrifying thing. How many layers of line art do you think is best? I only ever do one. <laughs> uh... 
how many layers is not a good question to ask me. I I'm joking. You can ask me anything, but they just because I am a very big, like, small amount of layers user, so I only use one layer for most things. Unless if I'm going, like, super intense with an illustration, then I'll go, like, more than one layer. But, it, it, like, if I'm doing a comic page, usually I have two layers of line art, only because one of them is dedicated for the background, one is for the um, foreground, and then... Um, but then that's it. Illustrations like this, I just have one. One layer of liner. Cyberpunk. Well, I mean, it's fantasy, so we probably should keep it within the fantasy theme. Can I do a carnivore fairy bunny? I can definitely try. I've never heard of that before, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I might just stick to lines only for this one, guys. Like, maybe black and white shading, because that seems like fun. I can draw, like, backgrounds, but not, like, faces or objects. Ah, uh, yeah. Faces are tricky. You gotta kind of understand the anatomy of them. There's a lot of measurements. We do have an anatomy stream, though. That one kind of focused more on bodies you could kind of make the if you really wanted to do kind of like a mashup thing you could make like the, the plague doctor like themed around something else like maybe it's from a different country even though it is like a European thing I know that plague doctors were a European thing <laughs> Here you go. All right, I'm listening. Mutated plague doctor. Mmm. I could definitely do that. Give it like a little bit of a more monstery twist. I like how this is like the magic and fantasy stream. Now we're just like monsters. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> to be honest, I'm okay with this. Make the mutations more magical. I have a hard time with face anatomy and muscles. Muscles, I love drawing muscles, but they're very, very tricky. It took me a couple of years to kind of get used to them. But yeah, facial anatomy, the, the number one thing that you want to keep in mind is that faces are measured in eyes, right? So if you're measuring, if you're drawing a face, your anatomy is measured out in eyes. And then the whole body is measured out in heads. Yeah, I can definitely do like a spookier kind of monster-esque plague doctor. I can't make it too spooky, but I can definitely try <laughs> tall lizard lady. Or like, yeah, you know, the kind of like funkier witch. Okay, what is my dad doing? I can hear like construction downstairs. People don't understand his fantasy is scary monsters. True, but we gotta keep it PG. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep it a little bit less scary. As much as I love the spooks. I gotta keep it somewhat PG. My favorite thing about drawing hands is like when I get to do more monstery esque hands, I can make them like really knuckly. Draw a monster with Dom's face and make it say something about family. Not sure who Dom is. Good meme. Trying to make sure I don't draw the eyes too big on my characters. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you can draw your eyes pretty large. That's all about stylization. Because, like, you know, more anime-esque illustrations have, like, larger eyes, right? But, yeah, if you don't have them too large, usually the face is five eyes across. It 
Aaron, I don't get it. I feel old. I don't know what the meme is. <laughs> Fast and Furious. Oh. I see. I've never watched a Fast and Furious movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're almost done the, the like lining portion of the witch here. I'm gonna like give her a bit of shading, because I think that'd be fun, but then I'll move on to the next character after this. So I do want to try to get as many requests as I can done. I know, it's to the point where I can't put a hairline on my character. I mean, if we're doing a Plague Doctor next, I might have, like, a mutated kind of Plague Doctor. I can try to get the... Talk a bit about hairlines then. Because hair hairline's kind of... This witch's hairline is kind of hidden behind the mask, so it's not like I can show that. Um, I can definitely talk about it. Do you have any tips to draw skeletons? Um, know your know what the bones are called. Usually that helps you study them a little bit better. Use your references. Tons of references. I'm still not great at drawing skeletons, so usually I just use references galore with them. Oops. What is my dad doing? I can hear the the drill. I hope you guys can't, though. <laughs> Just watch the most recent Fast and Furious. Yeah, never again. I don't know anything about Fast and Furious, but I'll take your word for it. Oh, Fast and Furious is just never good. People will fight you on that. People will... <laughs> One thing that, so camp has just started, for me anyway, so I just started teaching camp. I don't know if any of my past students are in the chat right now, um, but um, our, my first camp week just ended and we talked a lot about clothing folds because a lot of them um, had trouble with clothing folds and that's okay because clothing folds are tricky, right? So really it is, is just kind of figuring out how things will flow and will weigh down. Right, so you kind of let the folds follow the flow of the body, understand how things are going to move around, stuff like that. We can't, no worries, Jesse. Okay. Uh, yeah, don't look it up on YouTube. Look up, um, go to Pinterest. Hello, I am. Oh, hello, Chaos Springer. I'm not certain which of my students you are, but I'm glad to have you joining. Fast and Furious is good because it has family. I see. Yeah, if you ever need to draw monster y kind of hands, hello, welcome in. Um, but yeah, my classes, I um, camps are just a lot of fun to teach in general. If you ever want to do more monstery hands, just make them knuckles like 20 times more pronounced and you're good. <laughs> you can kind of throw anatomy a little bit out the window. So character design week just finished. So those students just got their full lessons. Well, like they got the basics of character design and then the next week that's coming up it's lucas ah oh, hello lucas welcome in glad to have you popped in um but yeah a bunch of them got the basics of character design this week and then next week will be the more advanced side of character design this actually should Did I accidentally create an invisible tangent? That's fantastic. <laughs> Love that for me. Or add 10 more knuckles. Also true. I love me some good um, 
love me some good strange anatomy. That's my favorite thing ever. Just adding on some light shading kind of makes it, bumps it up a little bit more. I hope you guys can't hear the construction that's happening downstairs. All right, fine, I'll use another layer. Uh, okay. okay, after this one, that'll get to the plague doctor. 20 minutes, not bad. Good time, good time, good time. If all the things take the same amount of time as this witch, I can take six requests, probably. Right now, this is one plague doctor will be number two. There was a kind of a spell caster, I believe, which was gonna be number three, and there was gonna be like a wit, a bunny thing. Okay, bye. Thanks so much for joining. Ah, Blood Ryu. Welcome to have you back. Alright, almost done here. I kind of want to... Because now I'm just getting more... Having more fun with the shading. And I didn't mean to. <laughs> I love shading. Just figuring out where all these forms start and end. So fun. <laughs> I'm late. You're not that late. Don't worry. We like just started. It was we started like 20 minutes ago. I just ended up being able to finish this illustration within 20 minutes. <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna do full color this time around. Maybe I'll color in one of them later on. I'm kind of vibing with the slightly messier look today. Can I do Lady D? Probably. We're just doing horror <laughs> characters now. I guess it's fantasy, kind of. I already have Lady D memorized, so I can probably do that. Okay, that's our witch. Hello, hello to everyone who's popping in. Who's next? It was the, oh yes, it was the Plague Doctor. Haha, <laughs> my max three layers have returned. <laughs> you did a short amount of time. Yes, yeah, so it's about 20 minutes. It's just a 20 minute sketch. Um, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was the Plague Doctor next. I believe it was a, yeah, it was the Plague Doctor, then it was the writing thing. There was one that Poppy requested. The Carnivore Fairy Bunny. I'm going to write these down, actually, because I want to remember, and the chat goes by pretty fast nowadays, so I need to remember them. Let me write that down, then. So it was... The Plague Doctor... Was the Spellcaster... Uh, sorry, give me a second. I'm trying to find all the requests so far. Carnivore Fairy Bunny. Interesting request, but I'll do it. And then Lady D, which I remember seeing. Okay. Can you do Elastic Girl? We're sticking to fantasy. For today we're sticking to like fantasy kind of like magic and fantasy sort of so superheroes are actually i think later on can i do a dragon yes i can let's do a dragon so remember we're sticking to kind of the magic and fantasy sort of tropes there is an order for everything so depending on who says what first that's what has priorities so it is the plague the mutated kind of plague doctor now 
not sure why dragon wasn't earlier. Yeah, honestly, right? I bet if I put dragon in the poll, then it would have won. But I decided to put monster instead. Because I was like, I want to see how non-predictable I can make it. Yes, I love dragons. Dragons are the best. Drawing dragons are also the best. In what way did you want this thing to be mutated? I, I, I know that Aaron and Adam are kind of working together on this one. What? In what way did you guys want this Plague Doctor to be mutated? I always make the heads so, so large. I'm trying to go with more adult proportions, but I'm so used to drawing teenagers because of new comic. A lot of skirts. <laughs> a lot of long drapery. There's a pole? There was a pole. Yeah. There was a pole for... Every week there's a new pole for whatever I'm gonna draw first. You don't know? <laughs> I need to know what do you mean. <laughs> if not, then I'll just draw a regular Plague Doctor. <laughs> Plague looking handsome, yeah. That's how we do. Major a wizard. Uh, this was a witch, but I can definitely do a mage after that. Okay, guys, that's like a good six requests. I'll see. I'll see how fast I can get to them, but I might not be able to. Spooky fairy. Plague doctor like a chaotic abomination. I'll give him like funky arms. <laughs> Uh, spooky fairy. Y'all really like the spooks, huh? I'm glad. Yeah, I'll have to see. Um, Griffin, but instead of eagle lion, can you do an owl or a lion? Yes, I've drawn that before. But yeah, there's a ton of requests so far, so I'll see what I can get to. I'll give him, like, funky arms. Maybe we'll give him, like... I know that he's supposed to be, like... Maybe he's, like, a bringer of chaos instead of, like, you know... Because the Plague Doctors were um, very heavily Catholic, right? So maybe he's actually a demon. That's what, <laughs> that's what we're vibing with now! Owl lion would look freaky. The, actually, the owl griffins are really, really cool. Yeah, you know, he's like buff. <laughs> he's like... I don't know how this is gonna work. Because uh, I normally they're like... No, we'll just have like the, the funky arm. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's like how this one kind of turned out. <laughs> In terms of like how magic and fantasy is kind of twisted now. Yeah, no, they're super cute. He has like a cloak. He's got like the thing. I was obsessed with Plague Dockers when I was a kid. I remember when um hot it was Halloween in my first year of high school or second no it was last year of elementary so eighth grade scp 4049 um well i mean it's, uh, we we requested kind of like a funky plague doctor so i guess it is like scp 409 now um Yeah, no, I was super obsessed. So then, like, I, I remember for Halloween, I dressed up as a plague doctor, right? And it was great because I bought, like, a trench coat. And, like, <laughs> I was out of all black trench coat and I had a cloak. You couldn't see any of me. My whole face was covered with this, obviously, the plague doctor mask. My whole outfit was black except for the mask, which was white. And I went around with a little lantern and my brother was dressed up as Mega Man. So then I would, like, I had to chaperone him. So I was just walking around. 
in silence behind him. It was fantastic. I looked horrifying, and that's what I liked. Fantasy characters. Fantasy fantasy, and kind of horror-esque characters because people are requesting a lot of horror. <laughs> fantasy can be pretty spooky, though, so that's all good. Closest thing you got to being one was Nazgul from Lord of the Rings. Ooh, I don't remember who that is. <laughs> Were people scared of you? Uh, funny story. There was one time, well, like every single time that my brother um, <laughs> went up to go get candy, he was like, trick or treat, right? And I would be like ominously standing on the driveway with just the lantern lighting me. It was great. I saw some parents go like, look at my brother and go like, oh, you're so cute. And then look over at me and like their face would fall a little bit. That was pretty funny. <laughs> One time I was mistaken for being my dad. It was like, we went up to a house and she was like, oh. she looked at me and was like, oh, does your dad want a treat too? And I was like, I'm his sister, but uh, I'm okay. Thanks. <laughs> Cause you can't, you couldn't see any aspect of me. It was like, it was just the cloak. It looked like this kind of. Oh, your obsession with zombies when you were little. Valid. <laughs> spoopy, it was spoopy. This is the best Plague Doctor sketch. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you were a Dementor from Harry Potter once? That's pretty sick, not gonna lie. That's a good costume. I kind of want to do a funky werewolf. I want to kind of do a cyberpunk werewolf this year, because I think that'd be fun. I still- yes, I still dress up for Halloween. You don't. If none of you just for Halloween. <laughs> Gotta dress up for Halloween. Oh, the Black Cloak Ghost that rode- yes, okay, I remember those. The ones that were, like, looking for uh, Frodo, and he put on the ring. I remember that. Yeah, I kind of want to do a cyberpunk werewolf. I really love dressing up. Last year was the first year I hadn't dressed up in, like, ever. And I was super, like, kind of upset about it, but, like, I wasn't in the mood. <laughs> this vamp... Vampy and Dracula, too. A vampire, yeah. Oops. Yeah, I'm trying not to spend too long on any of these sketches. Because I want to try and get to as many requests as I can. I know I won't be able to get to all of them, but I want to try. <laughs> I'm warmed up for the day because I taught camp, so like my, my hand moves faster. So this is how much faster I work when I have when I'm warmed up already. Oh, you scared a lot of teachers. That's epic. That's what your goal should be. Halloween? You should scare a bunch of teachers. Yeah, guys, Halloween in July. Let's go. Oh, a vampy is a cuter version of a vampire. I understand. Discovered by you. That's valid. I keep turning off the wrong layer. It's this one. My guys gotta have, like, tall boots. They always had tall boots. My tip for when you're drawing things underneath some kind of cloak, right? If you have like a skirt or something, um, draw the full leg first so then you know where they're going to be placed, yeah? So like don't just draw the shoe or whatever, like the part of the leg that's going to be sticking out of the dress or the skirt or the cloak, right? Draw the entire leg. That way you'll know um, that your positioning is correct. And if it looks off, even if you've drawn the full leg, and everything, then you might just want to remove it. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, sick. Oh, so I wanted to do that at my school, but it would probably get in trouble. Yeah, my elementary school, we all got in trouble if we wore um, if we wore masks. High school, it was a little bit more lenient. Um, I remember uh, like 
what's it called in high school i of course i still dressed up my first year i did a steampunk girl next year i did the cheshire cat but not from like the regular alice in wonderland i did it from alice madness returns which is a game um and then it was oh my god what did i do Oh, I did a doll. I did a doll in grade nine. Then it was the steampunk girl. Then it was the Cheshire cat. Then it was uh, Yuri from Doki Doki Literature Club. Those were fun years. <laughs> yeah, it's, some schools are kind of like against certain costumes, though, which is kind of annoying. So, especially if it's like too spooky, then like they'll go, they'll, you'll get in trouble. Which is like, why? <laughs> Can I draw Harry Potter if there is time? Yes, I can. This list is long. He's a magic and fantasy kind of character. I went to school in the early 2000s, so it was okay back then. Yeah, same. It is unfortunately no longer okay all the time. I get it, though. Sometimes it's spooky. I was certainly spooked of everything when I was a child. I uh, I was, I was, used to hate horror. I used to hate Halloween. I used to hate all that sort of stuff. It was only when I hit maybe 13 years old that I started to finally get used to all this stuff. And now I love horror with everything. <laughs> spooky, creepy, Victorian doll. A doll, like, like a creepy doll. Okay, I must have to see. Toki Toki be such a good costume. Yeah, because my hair is super long and I had already dyed it, right? So I was like, I'll just dye it purple for Halloween. And I was like, I'll just go as Yuri. <laughs> and yeah, my first my first costume for grade nine was a was a broken doll. Alright, that's the plague doctor. Hopefully that looks alright. What was next? It was the spellcaster, the spell kind of person. I'll go with a girl because these ones have been kind of ambiguous. I kinda of wanna go with somebody who's like who am I vibing with? What am I vibing with? I'm kind of feeling. Bye, I'm going to sleep. Okay. Glad you joined. Spellcaster. How am I going to do this? I'm kind of feeling. Hmm. Let's just start drawing and see where it goes. You know what? I've done two adults. Why don't I do a kid? Because <laughs> I think that'd be kind of funny. I may have been way too obsessed with horror movies when I was younger. No, I was a very big, like, um, ultra cute all the time kind of person. I liked adventure. I liked drama, which is kind of funny. Um, I mean, I still do, but yeah, no, I hated horror when I was a kid. Oops, that's wrong. A child drew it. I'll see if I got the time. Oh, wait, well, the child drew I guess that kind of works. I hate jump scares, do you? I don't mind them. I think I've gotten used to them. kid who's still trying to learn how to use spells or he's extremely powerful one or the other how at on a scale of zero to on a scale of um actual beginner to anime how good is this kid with magic loved and hated horror movies but as i grew older i loved them now i like don't mind them i think that like just a lot of them are like pretty bad so like i don't really care that much about them anymore um Yeah, I think horror is great. It's a really good genre. It's a lot of fun. Mm. 
Books are hard. Anime god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you fell out of your chair when jump scares come. That's valid. The jump scare's gotta be good, you know? Like, you can have a jump scare in there, but it can't be a cheap jump scare. You gotta rile me up first, right? Like, P.T. Silent Hill did that really well. I've never had a game that scared me more than that. Just saying. I like action adventure, but I'll say more I watch horror movies, I get really weird dreams. Yeah! When I first started getting used to horror, I was very- I was a very paranoid individual. I became very paranoid because of all the horror that I started to consume, but I've gotten used to it now, but a hundred percent. But I was I was very jumpy for a while. <laughs> this is not how you draw somebody holding a book with those fingers. I don't want to foreshorten them. <laughs> oh no. I did this to myself. It's okay. No, wait. Eh. I have to leave music playing so my headphones don't shut off. I'm kind of feeling these Owl House vibes now that I'm drawing this kid. Kind of looks like Luz. Luz. I don't know how to pronounce her name. <laughs> I have never watched the Owl House before. I just have a lot of friends who really like the Owl House. Lots of robes. I want to do a character th design theme event. Do it. <laughs> we made it, boys. We made it. <laughs> I just love dolls and plushies, but my friends say my room is cursed. That's valid, dude. You know what? It's mood. I love, like, dolls and creepy dolls and stuff. It's the best. They're all cowards. Creepy dolls are the best thing ever. Let's love the Owl House personal favorite character designs. Gus. I don't know who that is, but I'm certain they're epic. Hey, Jesse. I hope you're all having a great day or night. I hope that you have, you're have having a great day or night as well. I'm going with the scale of one to anime. I'm going with anime. I think it'd, it'd be cool if they were, like, funky. Hell House is about to get cut off soon on, on its third season. Yeah, I heard. I think that's why I heard why it's been kind of getting, like, a lot of traction because Disney's cutting it short, which sucks. I saw a lot of cool stuff from that show. have a little bit of the dragon spirit. Oh, you know what? Let's do a snake instead. Because we we got a request of a dragon, so I can have a snake instead. It's kind of like a smoke spirit. It almost comes from the book. Not using a reference for the snake, so it looks a little bit funky. Let's <laughs> fix the composition a little bit with a tongue. There we go. I'll pretend that that looks okay. Your eyes shot in a while as a magical character. I suppose so. But hello to all the people who are popping in so far. Currently, we are doing a magic and fantasy stream. So normally, we would be taking requests. And I technically still am. But I do have a really long lineup of requests. Um, so I may not be able to get to yours. It depends on how fast I illustrate these. Um, so far, I've been able to get two done within less than 40 minutes. So hopefully, we'll see <laughs> how fast I can do the others. It looks cute. Thank you. Gotta be a little boopable nose, yeah. It's gotta have a little nose. 
The snakes boop the mills. I love snakes, guys. I hope you know that. Oh, you heard the creator might make a webtoon if it gets cut off. Dana, Dana Terrace? Ter Terrace? I think that's her name. Funky snakes are the best. Adds more to it being dramatic. True. Speed run it. Speed run it. All my art is a speed run. My hand is already warmed up, so I'm like, I'm like vibing, you know? What is my father doing? I'm sorry. If you can hear the drills, I'm so sorry. I think he's fixing their closet. After this one, it was a carnivore fairy bunny. I have no clue what that's going to look like, but I'll do my best. That one shouldn't take very long, though. Oh, and then it was Lady D. She might take a bit longer. <laughs> click, click. Gotta move fast. Gotta, haha, <laughs> gotta go fast. I've never watched Sonic Boom the cartoon, but my favorite thing from it ever was like, um, Sonic got a speeding ticket and he was like, man, another speeding ticket. I don't think they'll, <laughs> I don't think they'll take gotta go fast as a medical condition. <laughs> it's the dumbest joke. I love that joke so much. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I thought that was really funny. <laughs> Do I own a snake or a pet one before? No, I have not. I really want one in the future, but I, I do not have a snake. I have a bird and I have a fish. I'm worried about drawing too fast because it looks like I'm not putting a lot of work. Meanwhile, other artists want to draw faster. Um, Speed isn't necessarily everything. Um, For me, I, I draw really fast because that's how you need to be within the industry, especially if you're working with character art or anything like that. Um, Usually the industry requires how fast you need to be, you need to be able to draw a full human form in under 30 seconds. Right? I can do that. It just doesn't turn out as amazing as I wish it did. Um, but yeah, a lot of industry requires you to be really, really fast. So it's also like, it's kind of nice to go pretty fast as well. Like it's, it's good to go slow too, but like, I like, I like the speed. <laughs> Sonic has no chill, no limit on the speed. True. The Sonic movie was cuter than I thought it would be. I remember we watched it on opening night, my friends and I. And like, honestly, an experience. I expected it to be worse and I was slightly disappointed that it wasn't. <laughs> Never heard that joke yet from the Sonic Boom series. Oh my god. It was so funny. I was like, under 30 seconds? Yeah. You gotta be fast. Like, real fast. It's like, you think I'm fast. I've seen people who are faster. And I'm like, I want to be them. <laughs> you know? Me too. I want at least one pet. Yeah. Can you guys actually hear the, the drill? I hope not. But if you can, let me know. I'll see if I can get him to be a little more quiet. The beta for the movie. I was awful. <laughs> I feel like I have an argument in this industry because I'd want to give a lot of attention to the art. Um, well, different departments focus on different things, right? If you're in the game art department, then obviously everyone's going to be focusing very heavily on the art aspect of it. But if you're in like the coding area, then obviously they're not. But yeah, there's a lot of technical aspects to it too, which is kind of why I stopped uh, taking. That's my own fault. It's okay. No? Okay, epic. Can't hear the the drill for real though i don't know if i can draw really fast or not it, speed it takes a while to build up it's like it, how i got faster how i always tell people to get faster is like you know uh try to work because a lot of the times especially with traditional artists they rely very heavily on the eraser 
right? What you want to do is make sure that you're not depending so much on your eraser. And how you can kind of get over that is just by like, oh <laughs> yeah, my bad. Um, how you can get over your reliance on an eraser is draw with things that can't erase, right? So how I like to practice was I would draw with a pen on a bus, like a pen or a, a brush pen on a on a bus, and I would like. Um, you know, what's it called? I would draw with like a brush pen on a bus and I would constantly like draw the people that were getting on and off the bus. And the thing with that is like, it's like life drawing, but you know, when you're life drawing and usually the model is there for like, oh, hey, this is like a three minute pose. This is like a 30 minute pose, whatever. Right. Um, you know, when you're on a bus, you don't have that kind of like timer. It's not official. You don't know if they're going to be on there for 30 seconds or three seconds right? Uh, 30 seconds or 30 minutes, right? So you have to be quick no matter what. So it's kind of like learning how to draw really, really fast. You have to draw a full figure in at least under like, you know, 30 seconds. So you got to be fast about it, you know? I want to animate full song, but I don't want to get copyrighted. Me, I'd love to make animatics with like copyrighted music, but obviously I can't, so... There we go. That one's kind of cute. <laughs> Shaded a little bit. The ghost, uh, the ghost snake won't have any shading on it. Tried doing that once. There was awkward eye contact. I remember doing it on a bus ride, and like the the guy that I was drawing looked at me and went like, "Oh, you're drawing me?" And I was like, "Uh, yeah." And he's like, "Okay, I'll hold extra still." <laughs> He asked if he could keep it after, and I said no, because I needed it for a portfolio, but he, um, I let him take a photo of it, so he got to take it home some way. Thank you for the advice. No worries. The time you've drawn three characters, I'm still working on the head of my emperor guy. That's okay. Don't worry, you have time to finish it. For those who are wondering, um, Chaos Bringer is one of my students. We did a final character design illustration today. Um, based off of prompts. They got the prompt that I wanted. <laughs> but it was by random chance, so it's, you know, all good. My classes are a gauntlet. That's what I like to call them. I love that he got excited was like, let me assist you. Do I have a tutorial on flowers and plants? No, I don't. Um, but um, flowers and plants are like, usually they're in the background, right? So you don't really need to focus on them too hard. All right, what was next? It was uh, the carnivore fairy bunny. No clue what that's supposed to look like, but I will do my best. I can probably fit that in here. Um, usually with your foliage, right? Don't draw like every single leaf right try to make it so then it's like not like every single leaf like this change up your your sizes right make it like kind of interesting give it some variation flowers just use references like there's gonna <laughs> there's so many different flowers hey what i missed not too much you missed three illustrations but i got tons to go um, it's all magic and fantasy, so we're kind of going, but a lot of people have requested kind of spooky characters, so, <laughs> um, I suppose that's what we're kind of doing. I need to go now, my brother's going to school. Oh, okay. Bye! Glad to have you join. Don't worry, all of these, if you can't stay for the full thing, that's okay, this will be up on the YouTube channel immediately after. I realize now I have to do a little bit of editing, but that's okay. <laughs> um, funny. Carnivorous bunny. I don't know what that's going to be. Carnivorous fairy bunny, though, yeah. Because he's got wings, too. He's probably have fangs. He's carnivorous, yeah. Teeth will change depending on the... If you watch the animal stream, your teeth will change depending on the, the diet. So if he's carnivore, he's got sharp teeth now. I 
actually don't know how to draw rabbits very well. <laughs> Watch it later then. Yeah, it's a mad bunny. He's a mad bunny. Yeah, I've learned that I'm not really good at drawing rabbits. Like, they're really cute, but I've learned that I'm not great at them. I probably should get a reference, but also, like, speed is key. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> trying to just be a little bit faster. Just a little bit. I could probably make this canvas a little bit larger. Canvas size. Let's make this 4500. Epic. Oh, so now I can kind of give him bigger wings, I guess. So cute. How to emulate a corporeal type figure. Oh, ghostly or elemental? Like, how do I draw that? Let me bite my head off, though. True. Like, how to illustrate that? We have a tutorial on that. So that's um, that's an early video of ours. It was the... Well, not super early, but it was a little bit, well, it's a little bit older. Um, It's like how to draw a ghost. Fairy bunny. Imagine, like, this, this is the tooth fairy. If you were bad at brushing your teeth, the bunny would punish you. That sounds like a really bad fairy tale. <laughs> yeah, I would I wouldn't I wouldn't pet this bunny. <laughs> well I'm not the only one to say epic when something goes well. I say epic all the time. It's become a part of my vocabulary at this point. I used to say it ironically, but now I say it unironically and it's like, you know. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's a lot of glows. It's a lot of transparencies. If you're working digitally, if you're working traditionally, it's a lot of erasing and um, messing around. <laughs> hoping that things will look good. <laughs> this is why I don't make traditional tutorials, because all whenever I draw traditionally, it's all trial and error. I never have like a more concrete way of doing a lot of things than traditional. Unless if it's like ink, which I know pretty well, but like uh, like ink and marker, I know pretty well, but like Anything else? It's like, uh, yeah, I'll just figure it out. <laughs> Usually it goes pretty okay. The Punisher bunny, but only if you don't brush your teeth. True. <laughs> Rise of the Guardians, Easter bunnies, double life, the Australian bunny. Dude, do you know how much I loved Rise of the Guardians as a kid? I was obsessed. I watched it a good, like, 12 times. Which is hilarious, because it's more than the amount of times I've watched my actual favorite movies, Through it away. Yeah, as a kid, obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. I could watch that thing every day. But yeah, the Hugh Jackman bunny. Pretty good. That was a good design. Not gonna lie. With the track record of the original fairy tale stories, I wouldn't be surprised. True? Oh, dope. I say dope, too. Not as much as epic, but I definitely say dope. Yo, that's dope, dude. I say that a lot. <laughs> Rise of the Guardians is great, right? Isn't it? Rise of the Guardians rules. Jack Frost? Wow, that was such a good design. Santa? Russian Santa? Wow. Chef's Kiss. Beautiful. Tooth Fairy? Gorgeous. I love the designs. So good. Like, looking back, it was such a good thing. <laughs> it was so good. The Boogeyman also... Played by Jude Law. Epic. <laughs> Found out about it last year. I spam watched it. Valid. Such a good movie, though. My parents were kind of sick of me playing that movie, but I still watch it. That's, that's true. <laughs> yeah, no, I think my parents were kind of sick of me watching it. I watched it twice in theaters. One in, both in times in 3D. And then I watched it, uh, like, ten other times, like, out of theaters. It was fantastic. I got my whole, like, friend group obsessed with it back in elementary school when it came out because the the main villain kind of looked like a classmate of ours and everyone was like, yo! You look like the boogeyman from, like, <laughs> from Rise of the Guardian! <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> I don't think he minded that much, but it was kind of... It became his nickname. I won't say his name just because it, if, like misheard it does kind of sound like i'm saying something else so i won't but it was kind of funny 
Fantastic movie overall, right? Yeah, Russian Santa was epic, dude. Rise of the Guardians for Jack Frost? Same. Same, to be honest, if I'm being 100%, right? Okay, they give us all these other Jack Frosts, and then they give us this, like, really, like, fun-looking Jack Frost. I was like, dude, what? <laughs> like, have you seen other Jack Frosts from other movies? Like, they, he doesn't look as good, right? Then they get, like, Rise of the Guardians. I'm like, poof, who are, you, who are you? Played by, um, Chris Pine, right? I'm like, what? Bro. <laughs> uh, funny. It's a good time, though. I'm glad you mentioned Rise of the Guardians. Thank you, Yuri. <laughs> no problem, Yuri. I'm glad that you're here to um, join the discussion of Rise of the Guardians. How's my class? If they watched it, they had no idea. That's so upsetting. Uncultured. Tell them to watch it. <laughs> Imagine hearing that he was having a good day and all he hears is you look like a very scary villain. I think parents would appreciate spam watching Rise of the Guardians rather than Frozen, though. True! I mean, I feel like I should be concerned. Yo, we talk about Jack Frost? We're talking about Rise of the Guardians in general, but Jack Frost as well. Yes. Good character design. Peak character design. Okay, we're almost done this money. I didn't realize it would take that long. Let's go. Four characters in one hour. Let's go. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Okay. Let's keep going. Bam, image, edit, canvas size. Height should be, let's make that 7,000, just to make it real tall. There we go. Let's hope that I can do more on this row. Pick the bunny currently being drawn. Yeah, we started talking about it. <laughs> Jack Frost from like 1990, who's an actual snowman. See, there's that one, but then there was the other one that was like, he was portrayed as a villain, I think. That one wasn't epic. Not gonna lie. Wasn't a fan. Uh, oh, it was Lady D next. Lady Dimitrescu. She kind of counts, I think. I think this is just my excuse to draw Lady D. I don't know. <laughs> I've memorized her, so I don't really need to do another reference. Because she's a, she's a vampire, so I guess that is kind of like my chance to fantasy. She <laughs> I've never been able to draw her face right, though. So don't, don't hate me. <laughs> Also, it's been a really long time. Draw Jack Frost! I'm pretty sure I still have him memorized, too. I immediately learned how to draw the guy. Yeah, the first character reminds you of Ari Village. Well, I mean, how, how convenient. <laughs> I'll see if um, I can get through all the requests and then I can try to draw Jack Frost. <laughs> if not, then I'll just draw him for the server. Because reminder that we have a Discord server. Oh my god, wait, it's the top of the hour. Okay, hang on. Dark fantasy, I suppose so. Um, for those of you who do not know, though, for those of you who are new to the channel and don't know too much about us, we are not only a um, YouTube channel, but we are also an art studio, so be sure to check out our website because we offer classes. I've brought up my camps a couple times. I think a couple of my students are in the chat right now, so be sure to check out all the camps and classes that we offer. Right? So, but if you would like this file, which will be uploaded as a JPEG without the sketch onto the Discord, you're gonna have to join again, the Discord and our Instagram. Find our Instagram because this will be posted as screenshots up there as well. Um, but if you'd like to actually download it, keep it, save it, do whatever you want with it, it is there. But if you would like to, you know, actually see my working files, all the layers that are within here, you're going to have to go to our Patreon, which is where you can get access to my working files. But make sure that you're selecting the right tier because not everybody gets all the working files. But um, there are also some limited spots where you can check out um, discounts for our classes and make sure that you get those before they are gone. But yeah, all right. Let's keep going because I'm still drawing Lady D. Heck yeah, Jack Frost. Sorry, but I gotta go. Okay, that's fine. Thanks so much for joining. Oh, wrong, wrong layer. Hmm. 
Yeah, you'll like the spooks. I'm glad. The spooks are good. I've always been like, it's hard to draw her because it's like she she about has this like elegance to her, but like she's also not very young looking, right? Also, I'm just kind of bad at interpreting more realistic characters into my own style because uh, clearly I don't draw very realistically. <laughs> Also, I'm not using a reference, so don't mind me. I'm seeing if I can do it from memory still. She's got, like, her hair pulled back here, I believe. There was the other way around. Oh, no. I think it was the other way around. Oopsie doopsie. All right, fine. I'll look up a reference. <laughs> it was the other way around. Oh no, no, I got a no. It's the other way around. Lol. Okay, that's fine. So that means it's got to be this side then. Yeah, I suppose this is very dark fantasy, isn't it? It's very much like <laughs> kind of the the scarier side of fantasy, I suppose. I may have to do half of her because I don't think I can do a full body within a short amount of time, but we'll see. She's pretty difficult to draw, actually. Maybe it looks to just pull off like a bruh. Okay. When in doubt, just zoom out. Oh, that rhymed. Oh well. <laughs> when when you are kind of struggling with something, it's always good to kind of zoom out. Right? So you don't focus on one spot too much. Because when you do, then you can kind of hurt your illustration. So try to zoom out on areas where um, you're kind of struggling a little bit. Ethan Winters. <laughs> Gonna draw her sword fingers? Sure. I wasn't planning on it, but now I will. <laughs> her Freddy Krueger hands? Yeah. It's like, what a fun take on vampires. I really thought that that was cool. Why am I always so late to these? Don't worry. I'm glad you can make it regardless. Sword fingers. Uh, she Wolverine, also valid. This hand is off. That is not the correct anatomy. Okay, let's fix that a little bit. Carved a little bit too much. That should do the trick. I do want her arm kind of turning backwards. I just gotta figure out how that's gonna work, you know? Freddy Krueger's the one with, like, the, the sharp, like, fingernails, though. He got, like, knives on his fingers.
Okay, now we can get to the lining. Actually, that wasn't too bad. That didn't take too long. After Lady D is a dragon. That's what it is on the list. I'll see in a scissor hands. True. I don't think this is how you draw her hat. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's flat. Okay. It's kind of a flat top. That's fine. It's not that big of a difference, then. Yeah, bro, she tricky. You're right, but they're like a scissor attached to a glove. Ah, I see. So truly, the real one that works is Edward Scissorhands. Oh, the fingernails. That's where my horror movie knowledge comes in handy. True. I've never actually watched uh, the movie with Freddy Krueger in it. So you got me there. Sorry, if I ever go quiet, it's because I'm like focusing. <laughs> I'm kind of like focusing a little hard on some areas. Which I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be zooming in so much, but here I am, I suppose. Hello. Hello. Welcome in. I'm Daisy. Yeah, I'm trying not to zoom in, because if I zoom in too much, then it starts to become a little bit hard to track. Uh, she could paint those red and call them fingernails, true? You should kind of on the too much green screen usage, but all in all, 8 out of 10. All right. I'll see if I have the chance because I there's a lot of horror movies I have not watched at all. Like the classics, barely watched them. Oh, she got long sleeves, okay. She wears gloves too, doesn't she? If I remember correctly. Too lazy to look back at the references that I open in another window. <laughs> too much detail to the character. Good. Detail is good. Not too much, but out of fair amount. The amount of detail that you add to a character is usually um, based on like what the character's medium is for. All right? If it's for a comic, you probably shouldn't make somebody who's extremely intricate, just because you're going to have to draw them over and over. And like, I'm assuming that you don't want to do that. But like if you're drawing like a like a video game character, then they're probably gonna have a lot more um detail because you know you you gotta model it once and then you can you're good to go, right? Design your characters based on the medium that they are designed for.
I should really be doing these like nail claws in one swoop, but like, you know. Just a little bit faster to just kind of wing it. There she is. My phone's passed, but we made it back. Excellent. Glad to see you here. Yeah, after her, it's going to be a dragon. Oops. And then it's a mage. So it's like a male wizard kind of warlock deal. Oh, I should fix this. This is a little bit whack. <laughs> Blue eyes, white dragon. Oh, no. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, Yu-Gi-Oh! was, like, never a thing that we actually, like, played. We just, everybody that I knew just collected the cards. We didn't actually play the game. None of us actually watched the show, either. We just kind of liked the way that the cards looked. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. No worries. Okay. Almost good here. All right. Cool, 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 cool. I just kind of, I kind of just reference Yu-Gi-Oh. Valid. You spam bot cards and play them with your cousins. That's valid. You know what? I keep saying valid. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, it is though. Um, yeah. No, it, for me, it was always like my, my classmates. Okay, dragon time. Oh my god, my pen. Dragon time. I'm probably not going to do a full body dragon. I'm probably just going to do, like, the head. Just for the sake of time. None of us could get Exodia. I had no clue whatever the rare cards were. I just kind of, like, I would, like, take the, the cool ones that I liked and I would keep those. I'm gonna go with like the classic European dragon because that's just kind of the one that I know off the top of my head. Dragons are, their process is very similar to a horse. If you've ever like tried to draw a horse before, a dragon is fairly similar. For the teeth, I always like kind of take inspiration from uh, from crocodiles. Things with Yu-Gi-Oh memes, I heard of them, but I don't exactly know the story behind them. Yeah, I just see them and go, "Haha, funny meme." I see that one before, and then kind of move on. <laughs> Dragon time. So when you said dragon, I made the reference. I have no clue why. It's funny, I guess. Uh, it, I guess cause, just because, like, the blue eyes is, like, um, rare, I think, or just really good. A 
I, that's exactly it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of vibing with the kind of just the general European dragon today. I'm not really feeling anything else. Also, just because I kind of feel like drawing some extra horns and whatnot. Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. I used to know how to draw gator scales really well. I don't really think I can anymore, though. I don't fully remember how. Oh, my bad. Wait. There we go. Looking so cool already. Thank you. I love drawing dragons. When I was a kid, I would only draw dragons. <laughs> dragons were like my favorite thing ever. I still really, really love dragons. I just don't draw them as often anymore. My favorite kinds of horns to reference as well. Antelopes, any kind of like mammal that has horns. My favorite thing ever. One of my own characters has the horns of a babirusa, which are like wild. Dragon. Yeah, I don't think I can do a full body, but I can definitely do like neck and up. Maybe like a bust. Probably do a little bit more. No, I kind of liked it before. We'll just leave it at the neck portion. I have to go, but I'll watch the rest of the video soon. Bye bye. Okay, thanks so much for joining. There we go. When you draw like a dragon or anything that's kind of scaly, try not to add every single scale. Stags are dope, yeah. They're kind of like antlery kind of animals. Yeah, try not to um, add every single scale. Uh, just like the most important ones. I feel like that sketch was way too fast. <laughs> I sketched pretty quick. Things that are easier as well don't take as long on the sketch. Dragons are pretty easy for me. We upload the VOD after, right? Yep, always. May have to make a couple edits to this one, but... Hi, hello! I'm black. I'm glad to have you back. Okay. I think I want to change his eye a little bit. I know he's kind of old. I kind of feel a vibe with that, though. Such a good point. Good to point. That's actually uh, a good point because I found an unwhip finished whip of a dragon. That's probably because I took a break from the scales. <laughs> yeah, no, don't don't try every single scale. Never do that. It's just gonna take you way too long. Focus only on the scales that really really matter. Now I'm trying to figure out how I drew this, because now this doesn't make much sense. Ugh. 
Okay. Everything always feels a little more finished when you add a little a lip to it, like a little edge. That kind of gives it a little more texture. That always makes it feel just a little more finished. So if you're ever drawing objects and you're like, oh, I need to finish it off somehow, just give it like a little edge and you're like good. Like a little ridge. Makes it feel a little more finished off. Oh, let's try again. The second hello was a little German, was it? I don't know. I'm, I'm not. Oh, no, I am German. But like, I don't have that much German blood. <laughs> I had to remember for a second. I'm like, oh yeah, I am part of German. Just a little bit, though. Just because my mom has a little bit of German in her. Wise and old. I was always a, a fan of the dragons being, like, the mentors or, like, the wise characters rather than the villains. Like, I always knew the dragons were, like, the villains of stories mostly, but I was like, man, the dragons are so cool. Like, why would you just make it a villain all the time? So I was always just a really big fan of whenever... People would make the dragons like the the cool like elders, I guess. That was how I always wrote dragons too. I think it's still how I write dragons. Even though I don't really ever have dragon characters that much anymore. <laughs> oh, it's turned off the wrong layer. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't read German. I don't know. <laughs> Ignite is fine. I can I can read that in my brain, but I can't actually speak it. Like I I don't know what it means though. Don't. <laughs> my mother is mostly Filipino. It's her father was half German, so that's why I have German blood. But. All in all, the majority of my blood, the makeup, is um, Chinese and Filipino-Canadian. When the dragon is a villain, it just go, why are you hurting me? Mood. Smog, like from Lord of the Rings, such a cool design. I'm so sad that he was like the villain. I was like, man, this is like such a classic European dragon. I'm like, why did you have to... Like, man, I know it's the original story, but man. <laughs> He's kind of fun, though. But yeah, if you add every single scale, it can make the whole design look very, very busy. You don't usually want that. So just make sure that you're drawing in, like, the biggest ones or the most important ones and stuff like that. Love the dragon. Thank you, Daria. Daria is one of our lovely designers. If you've ever seen the thumbnails for the YouTube videos or the thumbnails for the videos or the thumbnails for the streams, Daria is the one who does the majority of them. Translation is your videos are cool. Buy me some burritos, please. I am starving. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, unfortunately, I cannot buy you burritos. I do not um, have money. I'm joking. I have money, but like still. <laughs> Go to like Taco Bell. If you have Taco Bell where you are. Also, your scales should also follow the curves of the perspective of the body, right? Because a dragon is, you know, think of his neck as like a long cylinder, right? You want the scales and whatnot to follow that curve, right? You want it to feel like it's a 3D object, which is why it's really important that your scales curve along with the body, right? Issue with dragons is I feel like everyone's done everything with them. Not necessarily. I love dragon cosplay. Um, every single time that I see something new with a dragon, it's just like, yes, yes, it's so good. Okay, let's shade this a little bit and then we can move on to the next thing. No, I don't have. Oh, too bad.
<sighs> Good grief. I still like this little wizard thing. I like the first witch, too, not in this one. We talked about lighting already in a past stream, but remember when that when you're lighting, you want to make sure that you're kind of understanding where things are getting blocked off. Right, so this kind of head portion here is going to be blocking off stuff. These little things that I decided to put on the side of the chin are going to be blocking off light, right, depending on where my light source is, stuff like that. Right, so make sure you're being careful about that. 531, okay, so we've got about a little bit, we've got about 29 minutes, that's all good. I kind of got my light as if it's like kind of coming from up here-ish, sort of. So a lot of the shadows are going to be like underneath. To really test the 3D nature of your characters, it's really good to add on extra shadows. Add on your shadows and then really feel out the forms that you've illustrated. And if it doesn't really make much sense, you probably need to fix those forms. You know what I'm kind of craving? I'm kind of craving McDonald's. I don't know why. Yeah, let's erase a bit of this because that doesn't make too, too much sense. Yeah, no. Nah. Oh, we'll keep it. Okay. Here as well. Oh, I forgot some lines. Oh, well. Oopsie doopsie. Should be a little bit back here. Okay, cool. All right, that's good for the dragon then. That was fun, actually. I like playing the dragons. Um, what was next? It was a mage. Oh, we really are getting through this whole list. <laughs> mage is next. On a popular opinion, Happy Meal grilled cheeses are really good. I've never had those before. Gotta go, it was epic. Definitely gonna catch up on the vid. Have a nice day, Jesse, everybody. Of course, thanks so much for joining. Glad you can make it. Yeah, I've never had the Happy Meal grilled cheese. I'm a very big fan of the nuggets. I don't care what anybody says, okay? McDonald's is pretty good. It's not that bad. <laughs> Mage, how am I gonna draw this one? I'm gonna, like, Google it, because... Major Magi. Practitioner of magic. Oh, most of them have, like, are depicted with staffs. A lot of staffs, a lot of cloaks. Boots. Okay, cool. I'll see what I can do. You drew the milk in that game. McDonald's is good. It is good. Who mm. says that it isn't? A lot of people. Oh, she's speaking of mages. So how do you draw a wizard hat? I had some success, but it's hard to make it stylish. It's mostly just kind of like giving it some like interesting textures, you know, because like a lot of wizard hats are just kind of like, you know, haha, <laughs> single line stroke stuff, right? So you can make it, give it like some interesting textures, give it some accessories. Right, you can really make a hat 
interesting just by giving it more than what its default is, right? Like really give it a motif, whatever the character's motif is, that usually helps too. Give it a bit of extra based off of that. This one actually might take a while. Because I'm a little bit more lost on this one. I didn't have an immediate thought for it. Give him a big back so he can taste the goodness, perhaps. Trying to figure out this shape. Oh, that feels a little bit better. I think I'm going to vibe with something a little more. more funky. Again, I'm a little lost on this one, so I might take a bit longer for this character. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Good grief. Bless me. Bless you, thank you. Okay. I'm just trying to do a pose that isn't just a standing pose, because I've had a couple of those already, and I'm like, I want to do something a little more interesting. I'm a really big fan of really weird poses that are like kind of like no one be nobody would pose like that. <laughs> you know? Dynamic. A little bit strange and He's kind of got like a staff too. I probably gotta give him a staff, but I'm like, what's gonna be at the end of the staff? Oh, excuse me, Mark. What's gonna be at the end of the staff? You know, it's like, what am I gonna put there? So I'm kind of feeling, sorry, I'm trying to fit like the, the staff into here, you know? So I've perfectly like squeezed this character between the dragon and Lady D, which is not a good idea, but you know, so be it, I suppose. I like the pose, thank you. 
Okay, what is happening here? Can I get some inspiration from other people because I don't know what I'm doing? Like, some of them have staff, some of them don't. And I'm like, but I kind of want to draw a staff, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, what kind of staff should I have, you know? Very cheeky mage, yeah. I'm a very big fan of the... The kind of, like, um... Rowdy characters. Not rowdy. Like, the kind of, like, troublemaker characters. I'm always a fan of those when I read about them, but there has to be a healthy balance or else they'll get annoying really fast. <laughs> What's the staff for? Uh, no clue. I just decided to draw it. Oh, maybe I'll kind of make him, like, fire ghostly themed. Because then I can do something fun with the hat that way. Um, they got, like... What else we got on here? It's like I'm trying to figure out what kind of kinds of accessories we got here. Yeah, they got like books. Why is Ari here? Is she a mage? I don't know anything about League of Legends. I just know who Ari is. I don't know. Like... Um, well, a lot of them have books. So maybe I'll have like one of those like fun like kind of like book. Looks like I got a book bag or something. Because then maybe this is where like he holds his spells. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. <laughs> I always feel bad whenever I read something and I can't understand the language. I'm like, bro, I'm so single. Sorry for my perfect English. Yeah, I've always been like a big fan of like kind of the funkier designs, I guess, where it's like I really love when people mix in like the again the modern with the fantasy, but uh once again picky with that because sometimes it can get obnoxious or it's like if it's a little too overdone then it becomes like a kind of like a Disney Channel original, I guess. <laughs> and then you're like, Oh, yeah, you know the one of these <laughs> you know. Yeah, definitely more lost on this one. Just kind of like trying to figure stuff out. I am here. Aaron is ever present. It's okay. The quiet is kind of nice sometimes. Oh, I guess this stuff should be going behind, shouldn't it? And this should be. I'm gonna give him fingerless gloves because <laughs> I'm kind of vibing with that idea, you know? Good thing I'm taking your figure drawing class. <laughs> Jesse, I need to learn to do this. Ah, yes, figure drawing. The class that I am spooked to teach, but yes. Uh, 
Jesse, what do you think about your drawings? From the Discord? I'm trying to remember which ones were yours. I recognize your name. That's why I'm like... Oh. <sighs> oh, my brain. I think I did see them briefly. I really liked them. I can't always leave critique or a comment, but I'm glad you're uploading regardless. Oh my god, why am I taking this one so like seriously? I need to move a little faster. It's because it's a face and I'm like ingrained in me to be careful with faces. <laughs> My English is too good. Mood. Cool, yeah. Okay. Epically. Oops, my bad. Okay. Let's like zoom out. Now I can move a little bit faster. 547, okay. I can probably get one more done after this guy. The one that's after this is the, oh, it's a fairy. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, that won't take that long. Cool, like a spooky fairy. Taking some ring fit adventure inspiration. Give him fiery hair. That looks a little bit more like ghostly hair without the extra um, effects onto it. It could be whatever your heart desires. Not gonna lie, I kind of like this design. Never mind. I didn't expect to like it. The owl griffin. Oh, never mind. Yeah, no, sorry. The owl griffin is like, oh, it would have been right after the spooky fairy. Yeah, we got a lot of requests this time around. I was I was able to get to quite a few of them, but I can't reach all of them, unfortunately. So there's quite a bit, and I'm only here for two hours, so. I'll do what I can, but we'll have to see. We are doing a lot of request streams, though. So we will be having more than just this one. What is next week? I don't quite remember. It was... Uh, after this one is... Oh, it's Mythical Creatures next week! Just request the griffin again. <laughs> Instead of characters, now it's uh, creatures next week, I suppose. <laughs> Some more mythical stuff. I like the wizard or whatever it is. Yeah, he's like a mage wizard kind of thing. I don't know. I looked up mage and I was like, ah, it just kind of looked like wizards. Mage or magi or something. Yeah, I didn't expect to like his design this much. I was like, yeah, this is actually fun. This is a good look. Yo, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> next week is just more fantasy features. <laughs> so yeah, if you have more fantasy stuff that didn't get shown up today and they're creatures... Bring them. Bring your suggestions. We'll put up a we'll put up a poll for them too. Let's 
We are here every Friday, 2 p.m. Or sorry, 4 p.m. LOL. 4 p.m. EST, EDT. Okay. Oh, 551. Mm, I may not be able to get to the ferry, actually. This might be the last one. My hand is starting to hurt a little bit. <laughs> I've been pressing kind of hard, which I shouldn't be, but... So be it. Yeah, buckles. Remember to only draw one side of the buckle. You usually won't see the other half of it going over, you know, the belt. Alright, so it'll usually be going underneath. So it's better to draw it like this. You notice how I'm constantly turning off and on my sketch layer, and that's usually because so I can check whether it looks okay or not. Right? Because usually... Right, sometimes you'll do your line work, and you finish, and you're like, okay, time to turn off the sketch layer, and you do, and it looks awful, right? It's, you, it's because you probably weren't checking your lines without the sketch, right? You should always check. Make sure that it looks okay without your sketch as well. It should look just as okay with the sketch as it does without it. You know? Software, this is Medibang Paint Pro. Medibang Paint Pro, which can be downloaded on the computer, or on a phone, or on a tablet, and it is free for everyone. We use this software because it's accessible to everyone, so if you ever have questions about it, I can answer them. Even though I don't usually work in this program, but it is simple enough to learn. Paid or free? It is free. All free. This program is comes at the low, low price of zero dollars. No, it costs 20. No, Medibang is free. 100% free. Photoshop is the not free one. <laughs> of course, start with something simple enough first. And then you can switch to a paid program. In the future, if you so choose. To make it look a little more twisty. Oh, if this end is actually- if I'm going with the fire zone, that should probably be more like that, shouldn't it? Hang on. This heat rises. <laughs> if 
five fifty five. Okay. Yeah, that should this should take us to the end then. I'm almost done this one, but I do still have a few things to do with it, which will probably take us to the end of the stream. Oh, from looking at this now, I realize some of my anatomy is off. That's okay. <laughs> Too late into the stream. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe magical heat doesn't true. Maybe it just stays stiff in one spot, but I don't know. It, it would bother me if I didn't uh, make it like that. I'm trying to also curve the laces so that they kind of match the curve of the boots as well. So I don't know if this has been asked earlier, but what brush are you using? I am using the G pen. It's on the bottom left corner. My brushes will always be there. G pen set to opacity by pressure with an ooze of one. This is not my default liner, but it's kind of like my rough liner, like my sketching kind of thing. Maybe I'll give him like a kind of like dark. His arm is looking a little bit empty there. Maybe this has to do with his magic. I love that this is the character that's taken me the longest. There's a dragon here, and this is the character that's taken the longest. What stylus do you use? I am using a Cintiq 13 HD, so it's a Cintiq. Um, the stylus comes with the tablet. But this is one of Wacom's Cintiqs. Um, this is an older model, so it's not as like advanced or it's not as like new as the others. But I certainly got it for cheaper because <laughs> it was refurbished as a used tablet. Thanks, no worries. Okay. Add a little bit of shading, and then we're good for the day. I love it. Thanks. Yeah, just giving that little extra flair to your kind of wizard hats gives us the, like all the difference. Sorry, whenever I go quiet, again, I'm kind of focusing <laughs> just a little bit. The, the light is kind of coming from over here this time. The light source is constantly changing. So now it's kind of on this side. This will be kind of covered in shadow as well. Yeah, I didn't think I'd like this design that much, but it actually is pretty cute.
Almost done. I know it's six. We're almost done. Almost there. Certainly a little less over, a little less overtime than Snake Lady. Um, that was overtime. Okay. Shadow Braced there. Oh, a little bit up here as well. Okay. I really like so much. Thank you. Okay. I think that's gonna do it. Well, that's actually, I wanna add another video up too. Kinda make it more fun. <laughs> I think that's gonna do it though. How many did we get though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go. Not too bad. All right. Our tattoo's so good. Thank you. All right, y'all. But thanks so, so much for joining. Again, if you are kind of new to this channel, don't really know too much about us. We are not only a YouTube channel, we are also an art school. So if you'd like to check out the classes that we offer, be sure to check them on our website. Link in the description. Um, I am one of the instructors. We have a few instructors that kind of pop in and out of chat sometimes. Um, we also have camps going on right now, so be sure to check those out. Um, and this file that you see in front of you will be available as a JPEG on our Discord, so be sure to check out all the socials that we have as well. Um, on the, like, again, description below. <laughs> Nightbot will probably pop them up as well, though. Um, and that's where you'll be able to get this file, so you keep it, save it, do whatever you want with it. Just don't repost it, and it's all yours. Um... But if you'd like my working files, so the ones that have a ton of layers, this one doesn't, but there are other ones that do. So if you'd like those, then be sure to check out our Patreon, which is where you can get my working files. Um, but if you would like to um, also get discounts on our classes, those are also available on Patreon, but with a limited amount. So be sure to check those out before they are gone. But yeah, all right, guys, next week is... Um, even though these were like fantasy character, magic and fantasy, next week is fantasy creatures. If you want to, like, I know we drew a dragon, but like, if you want more creatures, you can definitely do that. Um, so come with your suggestions next week as well. Be sure to check out the poll afterwards as well. Um, but yeah, but yeah, thanks so, so much for joining y'all, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye bye.